What we're going to show you now is how do I create a new file based off of my template. In the olden days, what we might have done is go in and open up a template file, do a file save as. When you're working with a Dreamweaver template, you do not want to do this. So I have a template here, and the first thing I'm going to do to make sure I'm not tempted to do a file save as, is I'm going to close my template. Now you notice that I have a closed template. I'm going to now choose File, New, and it's going to bring up a list of my files. I'm going to choose from my side category here, Page from Template. I have a list of all my sites. I'm going to make sure I'm on my demo site, or the site that I'm currently working on. I'm going to see my template. Now, if I've set up my layout correctly, I should only have one template, maybe two, per site. On very, very, very rare occasions, you'll need more than that. But in 99.9% .9 of all websites that I've developed, one or two templates is all I've needed for the entire site. I have a little demo preview off to my right hand side that I can see and make sure it's correct. I also have a checkbox, update page when the template changes. As long as I leave this checked, if I make a change to my template, all the pages that I create based off the template will get automatically updated. It's a great feature when using Dreamweaver. Go ahead, click Create, and now I have my file. Now one thing that might be interesting, if I want to go in here and click on my navigation menu to edit something, you'll notice that I cannot do that. In fact, my cursor is a little not symbol. If I go in my header, my footer, I cannot change it. The only place I can change is inside my content area. So I might go in here, select the content, delete it. Now I've deleted the content, I'm going to put the title for the page like so. I might come in here, edit that so it's an H1 tag, and then insert some text. I can save. By hitting Control S, it's going to ask me what do I want to call my file. And I'm done. I can create a new document, same basic way. I can hit Control N. You notice it remembers where I, I created my page from. It's going to remember my site that I'm currently in, the template I'm on. Leave the checkbox for update the page. When the template changes, say Create. Once again, I cannot edit anywhere except what's in my content area. So my catalog. Inside my editable region, I can type any HTML tags that I want to use. So I can go in, for example, and insert a table. And it works just as I expect it to. My main thing that I want to remember is I can only edit inside my editable regions. It can be things like my content that I created, my page title, and that will be it. I can also edit my CSS file because this is an external file. And that makes it nice and easy. And save my document real quick, catalog.html. And I can go through and create each of the pages that I need to. I'm going to close the documents. And to demonstrate updating the template file, I can go to my template.dwt, choose About Us. Right now, there's a link, but it's a link that goes nowhere. I'm going to drag it to About Us and do the same for Catalog. You'll notice I have a little star up by the file name that says it needs to be updated. Hit Control S to save. It's going to go and find all the files that are based off of this template and ask, do I want to update them? I'm going to choose Update. And those files have been examined and updated. All done. And if I'm just dealing with a small set of files for my website, under 30 files or so, you'll hardly notice it takes but a second or two at most. As I increase the number of files, this will take longer. 
Once I've updated the files, if my files are set to go to a remote website, I want to remember to upload them to the site, otherwise they won't be seen by users when they visit the website.